It's Evelyn. We're going to pull some cards. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Sending you all lots of love and blessings. I hope you're having an amazing day. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as the Feminine's Mars and the Masculine's Venus. If you should like a personal reading from me, my information is below or on my website, TwinFlames3344.com. I also have a CD out there called Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames by Evelyn Stainthorpe, if you want to check it out. And of course, if you like the information or you like and you enjoy watching my videos, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It certainly helps my business. And let's go ahead. Um, today is November 15th, and it's 11.15 on my clock. I'm trying to think of what date it is. It's 11.15, and it's 11.15. So if that's not synchronistic, I don't know what is. So I guess things are going good for you today, Leah. Let's see what comes up in the cards. Um, the reading is for the second half of November, so this involves Thanksgiving. There's been a lot of chaos and people in the reads because of Thanksgiving, so just be aware of that. And yeah, I've already pre-shuffled. I'm going to continue shuffling. So for everybody watching, for the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn for Leo? And let's um, go ahead and clear all blocked energy you know for the positive energy flow let's clear all those blocks from all chakra layers auric layers grounding and galactic cords for everyone across all dimensions of time space matter and reality for the highest good of all that is concerned and fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light and so it is thank you thank you thank you All right, so this is for Leo, Leo, Leo. We have the Gilded Tarot here, and we are clarifying with the Rider Waite Mini, and we have the Energy Deck and Scooby-Doo at the end as well today. Sometimes I might change the, the Oracle Deck depending on how I feel or what I'm guided to. All right, Leo, let's get going. Leo, for the second half of November 2020. Leo, 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 Leo. Leo. For those of you interested, I have Leo Venus, and my Uranus is also in Leo. Leo, second half of November. 2020, Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo, there we go. All right, first card out for Leo today is the world reversed. All right, just might be the coming up to an end of a cycle that needs to end, but not quite there yet, or just could be feeling like the world's upside down. You could be feeling like you're in another world. All right, the challenge is the 10 of swords, perhaps feeling left for dead, or just perhaps getting a massage today. All right, maybe you're dealing with an innocent child today who may need to help you as opposed to you usually taking care of them. Maybe your child's taking care of you today. The foundation is, or allowing your child to take care of you, the Ace of Pentacles reversed. And the recent past is the sun, which is your energy. So you may have just had vacation or and really enjoying some sunny days or just exposing everything, being free or childlike or playing with your children. The present energy is the Knight of Pentacles reversed. This is some kind of stuck energy. It's very much still, we were just talking about stuck energies. But this can be someone purposely staying still, perhaps out of work, disabled, on strike, or maybe you don't have to work, so you're just refusing to move or work. Maybe you're just kind of being stubborn today. All right, but that's kind of stuck energies. And then coming up for you, and that could be a child as well, or someone you work with, someone younger. Coming up for you is the fool, which is freedom, happiness, open heart, taking leap of faith. Perhaps going out to sky right for someone. Or perhaps dealing with the stars in astrology. 
So you see yourself as the high priestess, very intuitive, Pisces, perhaps Virgo energy today, which is beautiful. So you have Aries and Pisces there. We have Pisces over there reversed for me. That's if you don't agree with my placement of energies. It's important for me because my guys know what my energies are and what I associate things with. So for my reads, this is true. So we, if you get a read in my read that I'm not speaking of, then that's for you as well. So if you get something that I don't, that's fine. Take that as something that you're supposed to know. So we have Leo, Pisces, Aries, and Pisces again. So a lot of Pisces around you are in your chart, Leo. And around you or how you're seen is the Ace of Wands. Nice. And this is intuitive energy, so that's truly inspired energy there. The block for you here has to do with the Hierophant reversed. And this can be a divorce, a break away from anything traditional, commitments, establishment, religions, the boys club, the patriarchy, breaking away from all of that kind of energy, right? The establishment. Um, this can be just being more spiritual and outside the box thinker. But this is a block for you. So you may be very traditional and have a block regarding outside the box energies. This also can just be a Taurus reversed and you having a block with that energy. You end up at the hangman up reverse, which for me, I actually like this better in this direction than upright, because in this deck, the hangman feels trapped, and the more they struggle, the tighter it gets, whereas here is finding a way out of that trap. So I actually like that. And you may be trying to get to this person to help them, that knight of pentacles reversed. What's connecting you to what's left hanging in limbo is the, is the um, Six of Wands reversed. And that could be, you know, could be feeling like a failure, but it could be doing things under the radar as well. Could be someone who's, you know, attention whore type energy, you know, really needing attention, being needy or clingy or just under the radar. But I feel like it's you finding a way out under the radar. And then what's left hanging in limbo at the end of your read is the Knight of Cups reversed, which can be feeling rejected. It can be jealousy issues here. This can be someone who's insincere and moody, you know, someone who schmoozes other people to get them to do what they want, but they're not really being loving. And this can be just someone who's, you know, doesn't feel like being a loving person today. And we have two knights, this one and this one over here, both reverse, right? It could be two people who don't, you know, not feeling it today. So you're going to get another card, but you won't see what that card is till the end. And it's usually more than one. And yeah, we're going to give you the underlying energies as well. We have the three of swords there for Leo. Let's see what the backstory is right here. And then we're going to get right into the read. Okay. So again, we have Leo, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus, and Capricorn as the main energies in your read today. The underlying energy, Sagittarius, is here as well. And we're going to start out with the Two of Pentacles here. Okay, maybe somebody dropped the ball. Maybe you're letting go of the facade, taking off the mask, right? breaking patterns, all of that kind of energy comes up here. And here we have exposure with the sun. So exposing all, breaking your patterns. And then we have the nine, the nine of swords, which is that suffering and silence energy. Could be stressed out, purging, crying, headaches, up nights, not sleeping well, right? But there is an owl here, which is pronounced here as I'm showing you. There's someone there who's wise, who's there at your window to help whenever you need them. Then we have the, and that can represent your child here. Because there is, you're, you have a challenge accepting help from a child or somebody who's innocent. Maybe you deem them as less than you. The Knight of Swords is upright here. This is the Messenger of Truth riding in with the truth. And then we have the Queen of Cups reversed, the Temperance card upright, and then the Three of Swords upright. So... You know, this could the some the one who's suffering in silence could be deciding to rush in with the truth here. This could be the Queen of Cups reverse, or that could be the person they're rushing into, 
with Sagittarius energies here, or this is a higher love, patience energy, patience and balance, and then separation here. This could be somebody cutting someone off. Somebody could say, somebody could, somebody could be being patient with someone, or maybe someone saying they've been patient long enough because we ultimately have this heartbreak and separation energy. All right, so we have, we're going to clarify everything with the Rider Waite Mini. So there's been some kind of heartbreak separation or perhaps surgery that's fully exposed. Or it has to do with Leo or children, because Leo is totally associated with children. Or maybe you're just really sad that you're home from vacation now, you know, and everyone's back to being their miserable selves. <laughs> Perhaps the kids or mom is like that. Maybe you're the kid. You could be an older kid. But this, you know, this is, the reading is for adults. So however that works in your situation. So let's go ahead and start clarifying. The foundation is the Ace of Pentacles reversed, which is either, you know, preparing for a new start or holding back time, money, and effort, perhaps not getting a loan or holding back money from children, perhaps. That kind of energy. The central energy is the world reversed. Like I said, feeling like your world is upside down. It could be a Pisces who's feeling this way, right? Maybe the Pisces world is upside down when you're not feeling well as Leo, right? We have an innocent energy, which is more like Pisces. And so when Leo's not doing good, maybe the, the Pisces energy feels really insecure or feels like their world is awful because they love you so much. So, and I'm, it's making me want to cry. So it is, is a very sweet, loving energy. Um, three of... Three of Swords. Why does Leo have Three of Swords there? The Ace of Swords is upright. So the truth coming out to someone who's depressed, and that could be this Queen of Cups here. Okay. Or it can be an Aquarius energy that's reversed. But this is a loss of hope, but this can be arrogance as well, because arrogance and depression can come out in two different ways, right? So there's um, definitely it can be Aquarius energy since we have the Three of Swords there and the Swords here. Okay, but we have Sag there as well. So it could be an Aquarius dealing with a Sag there and or Leo energy here. And then we have the, the Knight of Swords on the other end of that. That's so air here, okay? So it could be two different air signs or, or um, there can be Sag... Fire and water, though, too. We have the Knight of Swords two times. Here's the Knight, here's the Knight. And it's coming at, the Knight of Swords is coming in quickly with truth, but it's like on the other side is the whole truth. And in between, maybe some depression, loss of hope, or arrogance between these two people. So why is the sun there? Obviously, it's because the truth is coming out. It's being exposed. So let's see what else the sun has to say for us. Frustration, Leo frustration. Perhaps boredom, apathy, ma grounding, mastering, trying to ground and integrate an offer of love or friendship or receive a child's love, an innocent cup of love, which is, again, this theme is coming up here about this Bambi energy. You're challenged by, when you're feeling defeated, receiving love from Bambi here. And this is the same energy, you know? There is frustration over here. Perhaps somebody's very sweet and innocent wants to offer you love, but you're ignoring them like they can't solve your problems. All right, and this is someone who's getting new information now, and it might have knocked them for a loop a bit, right? So even though you, you're happy to get clarity here, it also can knock you off balance, all right? So you may feel off today, and here's energy of, of cups lo love energy being offered and frustration on this side. So that can be from a child or from Leo. So you, only you will know who's who in this situation. There's definitely perhaps a one-on-one -on -one situation or perhaps two kids and one parent. That could be as well. The Ace of Pentacles reversed here. Why is that for Leo? Death reversed. And Three of Cups upright. And Destiny. And a new choice of path here. So after something that t is taking forever to end, there may be some kind of culmination or celebration. This can be after a death or a near-death experience as well, or just being dead tired or Scorpio reversed. 
coming together in joy, which is destined perhaps to school the goose, right? And this could be, again, teacher and child energy or parent and child energy. And then here's somebody choosing a new path. So, and again, this could be a, a, a child dealing with one of their teachers at school. Maybe there's a teacher who's down and out and there's a child trying to help them, but, you know, the teacher doesn't feel right in accepting a child's friendship at school. You know, that could be as well. Um, we don't have, there's not, you know, a lot of any child energy here, except for that energy about the relationship and the older children, which could be like high school age students or even junior high, but they're knight, they're knight of pentacles. They're not really small children here, if that's who you're dealing with. But still the same, you know, it could be teens to 20s and very, with very innocent hearts or just someone's feeling, you know, sad because they can't help you or vice versa. The world reversed. So this is someone choosing a new path, but the new beginning's not quite there. Or someone needs to save money or get a loan or something like that. Or, you know, refusing to give kids money that they usually would give them because they need to save for something else. The world is upside down, and this could be because of financial loss or, or the less earnings this year. You know, that Christmas or Hanukkah is not going to be the same this year because, you know, we didn't make as much money this year or we're out of work. So why is the world upside down for Leo? Why is the world upside down? The world, there's upright. So where it was upright and making announcements, perhaps a final judgment came through or a wake-up call. And this could also be someone where someone's usually happy and cheery in the morning, waking the kids up. Today, their world is upside down. They may not feeling that cheery. So maybe the people who are around Leo are so always counting on you to be their world, right? Because Leo loves people around them. And so they love that positive attention and they're always so cheery. Like they depend on Leo to be the one to wake them up, right? To make them feel good. Or to be their alarm clock in the morning. Maybe a child overslept. But now the world's upside down. And there's a disconnect here, like two people aren't seeing eye to eye or they're at a distance and the energies are very uncomfortable here. All right. And again, we have Aquarius and Pisces, a lot of Aquarius and Pisces with Leo here. We have Scorpio and Leo down, Scorpio and Libra down here. So in the present, let the challenge first is the 10 of swords. Why is that for Leo? King of Pentacles, trying to save, right? This is kind of a... You know, this isn't, it doesn't make sense, right? Because the King of Pentacles has more pentacles than this. All right. So this is either like a parent trying to help a child learn to save, or he's in a very different place than he usually is, and he needs to hold on to his coins. And there's the Empress reverse. This could be someone who has a challenge with him cutting them off financially, or this could be an ill parent, which is depleting his funds. All right. So somebody's in a lot of pain. This can be a parent or in just financial issues. It could be a separation too, where there's, you know, there's not as much money to share anymore, but it also can be because you have a parent who's ill. So, you know, you have to hold back on the money and there could be someone in a lot of pain and dependent on their child, you know, like an, you know, an elder or grandparent who's dependent on their child or their grandchild for finances or to take care of them. So needing to, to again, this came up in the twin flame read as well. The needing, the need, the, the fear of the older person losing their mental faculties and needing to depend on their child. So 11.33 on the clock and 1901 on this clock, the sun and the magician. 11 is justice, 33 is the Christ vibration, the need to stand up for yourself. So there's a big theme here about losing mental faculties and needing to depend on others. The knight of pentacles reversed, why? is in your crowning position. Why is the Knight of Pentacles there? So leading the way, getting attention, being successful, with the worst being over, this is where the bliss sets in, where you allow yourself to not be in control. This is considered weakness, a lack of courage, ill health, right? But there's a surrender here because this is the bliss state. When you allow the resistance to go away, when you allow the pain to subside, 
then you know you're allowing yourself to be weak it's like going from success to this lack of control and being still not working and someone fighting that that transition right so whether it's because you're old and you're just losing your mental faculties or your parent has some kind of disease and now you need to take care of them or just the idea of the ascension symptoms that we're all dealing with and not being able to think as quickly or multitask as much as you used to or just losing a job or not feeling like you can move today not feeling like you can go into work all right or being on strike or stubborn or kids are being stubborn they're not getting up out of bed because they're too tired we are dealing with ascension symptoms you may feel really exhausted one day for no reason you may feel like you're having a heart attack or anxiety you may be hearing ringing in your ears you may be having headaches or a lot of pressure in your sinuses or your eyes or your ears or your jaw whatever it is they're ascension symptoms but of course if you think it's something more serious you should get it checked out but the point isn't so much the symptoms as um, you know, the person who thinks they can do it all now can't do it all and having a problem with that lack of control and learning that when you let go of controls, where are you actually, where the fun happens. So let's see with the, um, the fool here. Somebody's free. All right. This is having lots of choices or options in your life, going shopping. This is synchronicities, seeing lots of synchronicities perhaps that are guiding you. This is also finding the one. Maybe you had lots of options, but there's one that's just standing out to you. Um, but maybe just enjoying, you know, all of this energy of attention, but knowing that there's just one, there's just the one that's important. Or when you go out shopping, you know, there's so many things that you love, but there is this one thing that keeps calling your name. And you know, maybe you've been trying not to spend money like you usually do. But you're feeling free, finding peace away from this energy of being trapped, anxiety, or perhaps someone who's in victim mentality or feeling imprisoned or somebody with anxiety issues. Or maybe you're trapped taking care of an ill parent and this is you finding peace away, going out shopping for the day so you don't have to deal with that energy. I'm free. <sighs> We have the Queen of Wands coming up next. I don't know if that's, that's Leo or Aries, but you may be dealing with Leo and Aries between you and someone's feeling free. It doesn't have to be the Aries, but someone's feeling free or away from the other one. Um, and that could just be getting away from your kids for the day, you know, to get some alone time, not having to take care of somebody else. There you go, kids. All right, so why? So you see yourself as the high priestess. This is for Leo. An energetic exchange, expressing feelings, desires, the arrows of love, a lot of back and forth communication or travel. You definitely feeling free in a higher love, being patient, the patient angel. It's like, you know, when you have time for yourself, all of a sudden you're a, so much a better parent. And this may, I'm not getting deception from this today. I'm getting more of the new moon because we're right in the new moon energies. It's like starting fresh, like a fresh new day, waking up and all of a sudden the colors are more vibrant, the trees and the sun, everything's more beautiful for some, for some reason today. And this has to do with being in your, in your intuition. There could be Sagittarius and Cancer issues or energies as well. This could reference, um, we have the Queen of Cups reversed in the underlying energies, and this could be a Cancer person, okay, who's been sad. And maybe once you got a break, maybe then you're able to come back and either help yourself in that sense or help another And here's the um, chariot. So it's definitely a cancer person energy around you, or you have that in your chart. Or this could be driving to see the king of swords. And the king of swords, I just have to show this to you because there's two, you got the um, hierophant and the devil right after that, which can represent a Taurus person and a Capricorn, or that this king of swords has Taurus and Capricorn in them, or the king of swords is trapped 
between a Cancer or two Cancers in a Sag and Taurus and Capricorn on the other side. Or this is just dry, the King of Swords driving to see the Hierophant and the Devil. But this could be temptation. This could be a you know a tainted church as well here, with the devil and the and the hierophant energy. Remember, this is like God and the devil too. You know the angel and the devil on your shoulders, and we have the angel here too. So if it's the angels coming up on the side of the Cancer energies, in energetic exchange, and the devil's coming up on the side of the Taurus energies or the hierophant, whether that's establishment, religion, the boys' club, right? temptation. This is all coming up around the King of Swords, whether that's you, Leo, with, with air in your chart or someone you're dealing with. Let me just look at this for a second. And this all happened before, right? It's not coming up. You're seeing yourself as the High Priestess. It's like, um, it's like you're you're able, to, now that you've had some time to yourself, able to be present even when you're around difficult energies who want something from you. Like it's not, it's just, it's rolling right off your shoulder. But you may have traveled to see um, a Cancer energy, a Taurus energy, and a Capricorn energy, and or the King of Swords. We can be an advisor, a mediator, or a lawyer, even a doctor. Maybe somebody's cancer-free right now as well. A lot of back and forth in a very balanced way or just a, a, an energetic exchange of a higher love. This could be a love energy that's, that makes you feel free. So why do we have the Ace of Wands around you, Leo? There's passion here. In the aftermath of sudden events or in trying to avoid a disaster before, that can be Scorpio energy as well. And this is someone being stubborn, resistant, not allowing the changes. Now this new passion has taken over. You can't resist it anymore. Look, there's that passion coming in. And this could be Leo coming in towards somebody else regarding a passion. Or the, this could be another fire sign coming in toward Leo. But either which way, there's a lot of different signs here. Remember Thanksgiving is coming up, so... This could be reunions, high school reunions, all sorts of stuff around Thanksgiving holidays. And then the block that you have has to do with this Hierophant energy reversed here, you know, being alternative. All right, so this is the, a war. This is someone needing to stand in their truth no matter who it hurts. But there's no love in this card. There's nothing wrong with standing in your tr truth. And if others don't like it, walking away. But there's no love here. Like, where is the love, the love? And this could be um, knowing that if you go alternative, right, to what the general population thinks, that you're worried about having to be like this and people, be, you know, hating you because, you know, they'll see you as the enemy, the separation from all this energy. So you may, as Leo, you may have a problem with, you know that maybe you, there's certain beliefs you have that you want to be able to express, but others around you may not accept it, or a Taurus specifically, or this could be around divorce. Maybe you have you don't believe in divorce, but um, there looks like separation's imminent there, if that's the case. Why do we have the, oh, the hangman reversed? And that doesn't have to be your marriage. It could be someone around you. Remember, we're dealing with Thanksgiving, so everyone's family and friends are around. So the Queen of Cups was just coming up, but I, I want to shuffle again. And this could be, right? So we said the Queen of Cups reverses over here in the underlying energy. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles as well, which is that sovereign person who's single with everything they need, just perhaps not the person they want to share it with. So this may be friends cheering each other up or her wanting to be single again. And someone's finding a way out. I'm going to shuffle again just to see what comes up with the hangman reversed. Because someone found a way out to get to the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. And the Three of Pentacles reversed. 
so this may be someone's exit plan from a, a, a work situation, maybe with an exit strategy. <sighs> but um, she may be keep she may be keeping to herself about it, you know, because she doesn't want to tell anyone until she actually leaves. Or this is someone who's lying or verbally abusive at work, and it's causing an issue. So, so you need to get out because you can't take it anymore with this energy. Here's someone leaving their work. Again, an exit strategy, whether it's you or somebody else around you. But there definitely can be some verbal abuse or some grief at work or just things aren't working financially. And so there's a lot of distress. But this is either overworking or, it's just, or not working at all or quitting a job or just whatever's, whatever's going on is not working here. And you, got, you know that it's time for you to leave. It's, I got to get out. So there definitely may be an exit plan or an exit strategy for Leo. And that's, that may be what's feel, making you feel free because you're leaving the job. Or maybe somebody else is, which is setting you free. Why do we have the Six of Wands reversed, Leo? King of Wands reversed and the Five of Cups upright. So this definitely could be Leo energy as the King of Wands reversed. And whether this is you or somebody else feeling sad or guilty, you know, this could be some kind of loss, you know, whether it's grieving, regret, guilt or shame, or just not letting go of the past. This could be the King of, of Wands not letting go of the past. And this is, um, you know, feeling like a failure, feeling needy. You know, Leo's not usually the one who's needy for attention, and you may be feeling this way. And you don't like being dependent on others, making you feel better, because it's usually you doing that. And that could be the issue here, because you need to allow love as well as give love. And maybe doing something under the radar and feeling regretful about that, being sneaky, or maybe being sneaky about not telling about your, you leaving a job, because you have to, because you don't want to cause problems until you leave, or not, maybe you're not going to give a lot of notice, maybe feeling guilty about that as well. So whether that's you or you and the King of Wands reversed, right? We have a Knight of Wands here. We got the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. They're all here. So there could be multiple fire signs. We got Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo on the table here, along, along with a lot of other energies of Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, okay, Leo. So you got a lot of energy here. The Knight of Cups reversed. Why does Leo have that? All right, this is somebody very working very hard, perhaps working out with weights, or this is um, maybe carrying too much weight. This could be burdens, you know, carrying too much responsibility. And perhaps advertising too. This is someone stepping up to the plate and wanting to help. Again, it could be a child or a younger person wanting to take something off your plate, but you're too stubborn about allowing someone else to do it. Because, you know, you're, again, Leo likes to be the one who takes the load off of others. But this is like two people or one person sending a message. This could be the Queen of Pentacles who wants to offer help to Leo. This could be also a queen and a child, or perhaps offering free advertising or their child to spread the word. You know, stepping up to the plate, taking a swing, or offering, you know, help. But we have the Knight of Cups reversed, who's jealous, feeling rejected. You know, it could just be someone who's in a bad mood, too. Now, the Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles are not in a bad mood. This is Leo, with perhaps water energy, because you have Pisces in your chart here. Or maybe you have a Pisces around you right now. We got Scorpio, Pisces reversed, Cancer, all the water signs are kind of reversed around you, Leo, right now. And you had the Sun reversed, but it's up right now. Pisces is up right now, too, in your chart, whether it's a child around you or your energy. Let's see what came next for Leo. So, Seven of Cups reversed. And this is about, um, you know, scaling down, getting rid of things that no longer serve you, 
letting go of emotional attachments, whether it's people, places, or things, right? After finding the one, and on this card, they're all good options. It's just needing to scale down because it's just too much. And that could be, too, if you're losing your memory or just getting older, you can't do, handle as much as you used to, or you don't have as much money to do all those things as you used to. So, so that's coming up. Then we have the Five of Wands, which has to do with conflict. And then we have the King of Wands as well. So there's some kind of conflict or competition or even the pursuit of happiness because here now he's upright. He was reversed. He was reversed feeling like a failure, but now he's ready to pursue happiness again, right? Getting his mojo back. Scaling things down, really helping. Let's see here. The Seven of Cups reversed. Again, here's the fighting or playing games, perhaps sports, the pursuit of happiness or competition. Could be fighting with, with uh, people leaving the job or it, you know, sending people away. This also could be fighting an illness or injury and going back and forth to the hospital or office visits. This could also be screening people for new jobs. You know, there's all this competition to get the job or get the, um, the part. And this is, a, this is surrender. Maybe you were fighting an illness and someone's finally surrendering. They're not going to fight it anymore. But the King of Wands is, uh, if you, it's like someone, if you can't fight anymore because you've been fighting something for a long time, it's like allowing someone to help you now to continue f the fight. And that could definitely be with an illness or injury or trying to keep your business open. And there's the Page of Cups reversed. This is that innocent energy right here. Okay. This is the surrender um, to rejection, vulnerability to allow yourself to be vulnerable or allow someone else to be vulnerable around you, that it's not weakness to be vulnerable. Um, this also could be someone who's spoiled and whiny. You know, this could be a baby crying all the time. But this also could be the King of Wands, you know, especially if it's like an infant crying, learning to let them cry, to allow them surrender. That's their exercise. <laughs> it, may, it, may, it reminds me of thinking, you know, when my kids were little, you know, sometimes you just, they're crying, you can't get them to stop. You, you, it's, it makes you so frustrated. Sometimes you feel like you just want to throw them out the window. <laughs> But, you know, that's, it's, you know, you can't get them to stop crying. Sometimes they just need to cry. But there can be a lot of frustration with that. Not being able to fix other people's problems. Sometimes you, you can't fix other people's problems. You have to let them do it themselves. So let's see what else is coming up here. Um, this definitely can be a baby crying because then there's finally someone, you know, falling asleep. But it's just the energy of that baby crying and crying and crying and then just surrendering to it. Um, or maybe allowing yourself to be that baby crying. Allowing yourself, like you've always allowed as Leo to uh, everyone else to have that, but you have to allow it of yourself as well. The surrender. Maybe you've been fighting to keep something open that needs to close because the universe is trying to sh give you a message that there's something better waiting for you. But there's definitely an exit plan here. Feeling like the world is upside down or just feeling drained, uh, wanting a new beginning, but it's never happening. Um, feel in a separation here, that may be now exposed, or perhaps a surgery that was exposed. Perhaps there was someone who's been ill dealing with cancer, but I don't get like that's you, it's somebody else, but you may have had to deal with their situation. Very draining, your world feeling upside down, or just feeling like you're in another world, challenged by ending pain, or a very painful ending, or dealing with back treatments. That's been the challenge here. Or just allowing yourself to be taken care of by someone younger than you or more innocent than you because you can't handle it right now or just being stuck and jobless stubborn refusing to move or work and then all of a sudden being free or freeing yourself following your intuition 
or perhaps you have a secret passion that's truly inspiring you, but it requires you to be more alternative, not so traditional or conservative, or it may require you to leave a marriage or a commitment, whether it's a contract, an institution, a religion, you know, the patriarchy, the boys club. And, but you are freeing yourself. You found a way out. Um, there's definitely an exit plan or something like that here. And doing it under the radar or perhaps feeling like a failure and being neat because you need attention, perhaps being jealous and moody or insincere and recognizing that in yourself. And then realizing the need also to scale down and get more realistic about your life, what's really important to you, what makes you happy. And then fighting for that, right? The pursuit of happiness, the impossible dream. And then all of a sudden the king of wands is upright again. Okay. And then the next card we get is here, right? Someone who's, you know, not feeling rejected right now and sleeping on it, meditating, right? Getting a break, taking a break. And then all of a sudden refreshed again, like brand new. Offering love, being love. And let's see what's coming up after that. Since we have the Knight of Cups offering something, right? Someone's offering love at home in order to awaken somebody else. Again, it has to do with allowing, peop allowing yourself to receive love as well as give it and vice versa. You know, when the baby's freaking out and crying, to be patient and loving with them, that they just need to vent. Don't make them stop crying. Allow them to release their wounds. Yeah. The bottom of the deck then is the nine of cups reversed. Okay. So breaking patterns or dropping the ball, maybe can't, you know, we couldn't, you were suffering in silence here. Someone was suffering, dropping the ball. They couldn't follow through or keep up with their level of work. Looking back at the past or living in the past. And then we have the king of cups, which is conditions of love, or perhaps someone emotionally unavailable, drinking, you know, or over emotional not getting their wish, being arrogant or just sad, right? And that's where we're coming into this read. So let's see what the energy deck has to say for Leo. And honestly, for you, it's interesting because there was a lot of people in most of the reads and you really don't have a whole lot of people going on here, not like the other reads did. It's like Leo for a change is going within more than actually going without, which is Leo, right? Because they like to be the star. They like to be the center of attention. But this is more of about, you know, focusing on you, what's authentic to you, and what really makes you happy. All right, Leo, Leo, Leo. What is the takeaway here for Leo? Leo. And remember, we're going into the age of Aquarius, which is the opposite of Leo. And we have 17 here, which is the star. So I, I was just talking about going from the 15th to the 16th, today's the 15th and 16th, and going into the 17th, which is the star energy, a more positive energy, merging the polarities, right? The, dark, the black and the white, the dark and the light, bringing them together to merge, to take action, right? This is about you accepting both sides of yourself and both sides of the cells of the others around you in order to get to a balanced place and really take action. And there's a contract here that you may need to consider or break with the six of the lovers or home, family, and community. Okay? So having to do with work, stardom, the practical energies of day-to-day -day life and what's really important to you, and then merging those two sides to make your best plan. And then we have the four of the happy family. Okay? So... The Empress is reversed. Was the Emperor even in this read? I don't see the Emperor. I don't remember putting him out. So it's interesting that that energy is coming up because I don't know if someone had passed away, so that's not in the picture right now. I mean, the lovers didn't come up either. So it's really not about that. It's really more about work, you know, self work merging your own shadow and light, perhaps getting out of things that you're not wor that don't work for you right now at work. And perhaps there could be an ending of a family or just, um, you know, healing yourself in order to make the family happy, right? You can't do that now through making them happy. You can only do that through making yourself happy. 
All right, goddess of the moon, 52, is the queen of swords is the underlying energy. And that can be the false light, financial constraints. Okay, this can be someone, again, the cancer, the moon came up reversed, which can be the new moon today, but it also can reference someone dealing with cancer issues. And maybe that was very financially draining. Maybe that you were responsible for that or no longer want to be responsible for that or someone who was the false light who maybe was draining your finances, shopping a lot. Okay, so however that works out for you, let's see what Scooby has to say. This is definitely, you know, just remembering to, you have to love yourself first and balance yourself first before you're any good to anyone else, you know, which you know that, but Leah's not used, maybe your, your energy level isn't what it used to be, or because we're ascending, your energy's changing and you have to accommodate that and be more loving to yourself. Give yourself more rest, more time alone and, you know, and then be refreshed and then come back and deal with your kids or your work. I'm not really getting partnerships here more as just workplaces and children. It's more of that group energy that you need to take more time out for yourself. All right, let's see. It's not that Leo doesn't do things for themselves. They do, but it's usually re revolving around being around children, being around fun and sports and all that kind of stuff and attention as opposed to being alone. You need to take more time alone. So this is the King of Swords reversed. And again, this is that one, you know, who... I can bring home the bacon fried up in a pan, right? That kind of energy, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This is maybe what you used to do, the performer, and now you, need, you can't do that anymore. You can't hold up that energy. Same thing with fun and games. You know, you need to take a break, even from the fun and games. This is the work. This is the games. But either which way, you know, this is the page of swords reversed and the king of swords reversed. It can, revolve, it can involve you and your kids. This would be usually your energy, but right now, this is the advice. It's saying you need to take a break. And then you can come back to yourself, the Queen of Wands. Right? The underlying energy is, right, just being authentic to yourself, just being you, not showing off, not doing anything, just being you, your loving self. That's all you need to be. And if someone expects more than you, then that's their issue and their wound to resolve. You can't be responsible for that. So I'm going to end it there, Leo. I hope that was helpful for you. Make sure you get enough water because that's like a conductor for your intuition. Make sure you get enough rest, get enough joy in your life, which sometimes is just being to yourself. And nature, make sure you ground yourself. Touch the grass with your bare skin. Perhaps hug a tree. That's why people hug the tree to get down to the root of the earth, right? To really ground with Mother Earth and Gaia. We are a part of her. And also salt baths will help to clear your auric field. Salt is really good. I put it in my apricot scrub. That might be a good idea as well. So just take some time for yourself. Perhaps meditate, take a walk, work out, any of that stuff that helps you release tension. And guys, be good to yourselves as always. And rise and be love. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.